Yo, what's going on everybody? Charlie checking in. Mwah. Reaching out to all my angels and demons. Trying to stop saying this checking in thing, man. People are trying to say I'm sounding like Michael. I don't get it. Um, actually, I do get it. Yeah, Michael's always doing checking in and right there. That's why I started the reaching out rather than the right there. So, trying to work things up a little bit. So, um, anyway, speaking about Michael, um, I promised you guys today we would that I would tell the story about the time that uh, I taught him how to drive, <laughs> and it was terrifying to the max. <laughs> now, as you know, I don't know if some of you have already damn been informed or whatever. I think he's already told you, but Michael, he's got a uh, he's got a fear of driving, and he's had it for I mean he's had it for a long time. I mean he's even afraid driving in a car with somebody. Um, <laughs> you know you. You see a car pulls out in front of you, you know, 50 yards ahead of you, where Michael's, oh, stop, no, 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 hit the brakes, hit the brakes, no, no, no. he almost hit us. <laughs> That's how Michael is, man. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's sad, but like I said, he got into a car accident as a young kid, and, and, and it frightened him. So you can kind of uh, understand um, where, you know, where these fears and aversions come from. A lot of times they, they stem from childhood traumas and accidents, and... Um, you live with him for the rest of your life, and unfortunately, you know, he's got a fear of something that is almost a commodity in today's uh, world, and, um, but thankfully, he's got Bridget there, you know, she likes to drive, and what's more, what's more cooler than having, damn, somebody drive you around everywhere, man, <laughs> it's pretty cool, even though sometimes it is just cool, just get out and just drive on your own, so, um, yeah, so I was trying, I'd, I'd always kind of talk to him, like, come on, man, just try it, just try it, you know, it's, Let's just see what we can do, and um, you probably like it. And this, so this is probably in 2007, I guess, probably. And uh, I just got me a, a Jeep. It wasn't a really nice Jeep, uh, but you don't have to have a nice Jeep for it to be cool, man. Jeeps are nice and rugged. They're better when the more rugged, the better, almost. <laughs> so I had me a little Jeep, uh, like 93 or something, a four door Cherokee, and I loved that thing. And um, and it seemed easy to drive to me, so. Michael came over one weekend, not the weekend that I beat him up. My maybe must have been the weekend before that or something. But um, uh, he came over and then we just got on. We just got on the on the topic of uh, driving again. And uh, I'm like, come on, just go out out into the neighborhood with me and um, let's just see. What, just, let's just see what you got, man. Let's just try. You know, what's the harm in at least trying? You know. And uh, and uh, so he was like, all right, you know, let's um, let's let's do it. You know, got his guts up and everything. And and um, I got him into the driver's seat, made sure that he had his seat belt, and I'm like, oh, check your tenant too, all that bullshit, acting like, like I'm some kind of, uh, <laughs> some kind of um, uh, student driver, uh, teacher driver or whatever, <laughs> driver trainer. And uh, <laughs> so um, anyway, um, got all the safety shit out, and he backs out fine and um, get, takes off forward, and, and we're doing good, man. He's driving really, really, really well. And I'm like, I'm proud of you, Michael, man. You, you, you could do this. And he's like, yeah, man. He started believing in himself. He's like, yeah, man, I think I can do this, man. I, I'm probably going to go out and get my license here soon. And we're just laughing and joking again, having, cracking up, having a time. And until a car pulls up behind us. <laughs> All good until we saw a damn car. And it pulled up behind us. And Michael was like, oh, well, what do I do? What do I do? He's all tensed up on the wheel. Ugh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, just calm down. Just pull over slowly to the side of the road and let him go around. And Michael's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa which one's the break? Which one's the break? I'm like, and I'm like, Michael, calm down. <laughs> the last thing you want to do when you're in a vehicle or in traffic is, you know, is, um, is cause a panic. Start, you know, lose your cool. You know, you see all these, um, uh, uh, what do you say, damn, uh, I can't even think the damn word right now, damn, R road ragers, you know, that just lose their minds, man, it could be the coolest people in the world and lose it in over a little traffic accident and go to jail or ruin the names forever, and, um, um, so, you know, I try not to lose my cool when I'm on the road, and, I told Michael, I said, just pull over, just really calmly. I said, just pull over to the side of the road and let them go around, you know? And Michael's like, I don't know which one the break is. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, just calm down. Just slowly pull over to the side of the road. I've got, I got my arm out the window. Like, I'm, I'm in the passenger, but I'm holding my other arm. It's like, y'all come on around me. Go around me. And about the time that I do that, Michael just pulls a damn stunt move. 
<laughs> and veers off the side of the road real fast. And I had to slam on the damn brakes. I put my foot over. Mm, pushed, I had to go all the way over and push that damn brake in. And damn, I was like, I, had, I held it on the brake and Michael still had it on the gas. We're sitting there revving. <laughs> I'm like, Michael, put it in park, put it in park. And damn. He put it in park. I think he messed up my transmission. Transmission started slipping after that. <laughs> but he put it in park. And I, I opened my door and went to get out. And I was like that far from this damn retention ditch that was like 20 foot deep. <laughs> and I just looked over at Michael and I couldn't even say anything, man. He was just white as a ghost, man. I, I felt bad for him. I wouldn't have said anything to him if I, if I could have said anything because I knew that he was just felt bad. And, um, and then, so we had to get out on his side and damn walked over and just saw how close it really was, man. I mean, it was seriously like that close from him just boo, careening into a damn, uh, drainage culvert <laughs> 20 foot down. And, uh, yeah, thankfully that didn't happen. Wouldn't be here today. Tell this story. I made him get into the passenger seat. Well, you know, pulled on out, obviously, you know, made him get into the passenger seat. We went back home. I never asked him to drive again. <laughs> and I don't think he ever asked neither. I think that might have scared him just as much as that damn car accident. So, um, yeah, that was the one and only time I taught Michael how to drive. And um, I don't think I'll be doing it again. Now we got Uber and we're in an area where there's public transit. You know, he's not too bad. If he needs to get somewhere, he'll get there. So, um, more power to you, Michael. I love you, bro. You enjoy your damn time at WrestleMania, bro. And um, let's go Brock Goldberg's ass. All right, guys, y'all have a great, fantastic Friday. And I'm going to check on out of here. Peace.